ये मेरा भाई है इसको नए नए लैपटॉप्स खरीदने का बहुत शौक रहा है तो चलिए देखते हैं इसका परसेप्शन कैसे बदला है पिछले कुछ सालों में तेरे नए लैपटॉप में कौन सा प्रोसेसर है इंटेल आई सेवन दादा इस बार वाले लैपटॉप में कौन सा प्रोसेसर है इंटेल आई नाइन दादा इस वाले लैपटॉप में कौन सा प्रोसेसर है एम थ्री मैक्स इंटेल क्यों नहीं लिया कौन इंटेल इज दिस दंड ऑफ इंटेल Intel is the company that started the microprocessor revolution. If chip design has attained these heights, Intel has played a significant role in the process. However, the company that pioneered VLSI innovation and established the global presence of semiconductors is now declining. As an electronics enthusiast, it feels very sad. आखिर ऐसा क्या हुआ कि Intel की valuation exponentially गिर रही है मतलब अगर आपने 90s में Intel में invest करा रहा होगा तो 25 साल बाद वो investment वन बाई टेंथ हो चुकी है तो आइए समझने का try करते हैं Intel के अर्थ से first तक का सफर In the 1990s and early 2000s, Intel had a brilliant marketing strategy. Intel ran the iconic Intel Inside campaign, helped them to position as the go-to brand for personal computers. This marketing focus was worked hand in hand with cutting-edge technology. like the pentium processors making intel a household name however as time went on intel's marketing strategy became more of a crunch than an asset they continued to push the brand rather than innovating at the engineering level intel's shift towards marketing became more evident when paul atlini who came from a sales and marketing background became ceo in 2005 atlini was the first intel ceo who wasn't an engineer and under his leadership intel prioritized business deals and marketing over pushing the boundaries of technology like intel spent billions promoting its processors for example centrino focusing on brand recognition this initially paid off but as competitors began to innovate intel's lack of focus on the underlying tech started showing While AMD was struggling, Intel had the chance to step into the GPU market. Instead, they let Nvidia gain dominance. While Intel stayed focused on promoting its traditional CPU products, this was a crucial missed opportunity as GPUs became key in areas like AI, gaming, and data centers. And when they started, it was too late. In 2017, AMD's Ryzen CPUs outperformed Intel at a lower cost, shaking the market. Meanwhile, Intel was stuck on the 14 nanometer technology notes for nearly six years, while AMD advanced to more efficient notes like 7 nanometer, offering better performance and power efficiency. Intel continued minor updates to their core processors, relying on brand power instead of engineering innovation. AMD seized this chance to take a significant market share. In 2020, Intel lost a massive partner when Apple decided to build its own chips, leading to the powerful M1 processor. Intel had failed to provide Apple with energy-efficient processors, and Apple chose to innovate on its own. Intel also failed to make a mark in the rapidly growing smartphone industry. unable to compete with Qualcomm's Snapdragon processors their focus remained on desktops and laptops ignoring the massive shift towards mobile computing finally from last few years ai and data centers became crucial markets nvidia emerged as the leader with its powerful gpus intel still focused on cpus that to on marketing instead of innovation couldn't keep up with the demand for ai driven workloads aisa nahi hai ki intel ne gpu ai data centers in sabhi markets mein kabhi try hi nahi kiya unhone late start kara aur results acche nahi rahe in the gpu space intel's xc architecture is still struggling to compete against nvidia and amd and in ai 
इंटेल हैज एड टू कैचअप विद इनविडिया लीड इंटेल के जो अटेम्प्ट हैं दे शो एन अवेयरनेस ऑफ दीज इमर्जिंग फील्ड्स बट एग्जीक्यूशन इशूज एंड लेट एंट्री हैव लिमिटेड देयर सक्सेस सो फॉर फाइनली आई जेन्यूनली विश दैट इंटेल वुड ट्राइव अगेन एज द कंपनी इज एन इमोशन फॉर वी एल एस आई इनोवेशन